All right, today, we're, guys, we're going to learn about polygons. Polygons are shapes. Polygons are shapes with many sides. The prefix poly means many, gons mean sides. So we're going to learn about shapes with many sides today. We're going to learn about the characteristics, what these shapes have to have in order to be polygons, as well as the names for the first eight polygons. Here we go. A polygon is a two-dimensional flat shape, so it's flat like a sheet of paper. 2D is a short way of saying two-dimensional, okay? So 2D or two-dimensional. This means if something is 2D, that you can measure its length and its width. So you just need to know that polygons are flat, like paper. In addition to that, polygons or what we call closed shapes. When you look at all four of these shapes, none of these shapes have openings or gaps in them, okay? They're also made up of at least three line segments. Notice all their sides are straight line segments. They have a beginning and an end, okay? Um, these shapes can't have any curves in them. Why is this shape not a polygon? Well, the first thing that attracts me when I look at this shape is this part right here. And you're right. There's nothing there. That's what draws my attention. Okay? Because this shape is not closed. It's open. If there's an open shape, it is not a polygon. Why can a polygon have only two sides? Well, if you look at a shape with only two sides... There is a huge opening here. It's not closed. So you have to have that third size to close up your shape. Is this a polygon? Well, when you look at a shape, you should ask yourself three questions. Is it flat? Is it closed? Does it have straight sides? If you can answer yes to all three questions, then yes, the shape is a polygon. Okay? Now, this polygon has 12 sides. I want to show you how to count the sides. You will need to do this on your work this week. You will need a pencil, a highlighter, or a marker to mark your straight sides. Let me show you how to do that. Each line, you're going to mark. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then you're going to write the number in the inside of the shape. So this had 12 sides. Now, the cool thing about polygons is their sides are equal to their corners or their angles. And I'm even going to give you another synonym, vertices, okay? So their vertices, their sides, their angles are all equivalent. So angles are the corners. Vertices of the corners. So let's just count corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve corners, twelve line segments. That should match. Now, we don't have to know the names of this 12 sided figure. Let's look at some shapes that we do need to know the names for. All right. So we have eight names to learn. Remember, learn the prefixes. The prefixes will help you. What's a one-sided polygon called? Well, guys, that's a trick question because there is no such thing as a one-sided polygon. Remember, polygons must have at least three sides in order to be a polygon. Now, y'all all know the name to this three-sided polygon right here. You've been looking at this shape since kindergarten. A three-sided polygon is called a triangle. Remember, look at the prefix, tri. Tri means three. So when you get a shape like this, I need you marking off your line segments. One, two, three. Put a three in. Or you can do it this way. You can mark off the vertices or angles. One, two, three. 3 and put a 3. Okay? Remember, try 
means three. A tricycle has three wheels, just like a triangle has three angles and three sides. A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. Now, I know that's a big word, but you are a third grader and you can handle it. Let's break that word down into parts. So, say quad, dra, lateral, quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides. The prefix quad means four. You know this quadrilateral as a square. You know this quadrilateral as a rectangle. You may not know the names to the other three. This is a rhombus. He's the cousin to the square. Basically, all that happened was that somebody stepped or sat on the square and made him lean. So it's a slanted square. All sides are the same length, just like they are over here. This is a trapezoid. That is the thing that an elephant steps on at the circus. And this right here is can be called either a square or a diamond. Quad means four. If you have a quad cab truck, you have a truck that has four doors to it. If someone has quadruplets, they have four kids. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. Again, looking at that prefix. The prefix penta means five. One, two, three, three, four, five. Five sides. That's what I need you doing on your shapes. Okay? Now, there is a building in Washington, D.C. that has five sides just like a pentagon. Another thing that you know about that has five sides is the houses that you've been drawing since um, kindergarten. Five sides. And again, they will be connected together. Okay? So right, those houses are pentagons as well. Six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. Hexagon. The prefix hexa means six. Now, when you look at the uh, word hexagon, notice it has an X in it. When you look at the word six, it has an X in it. So when you see this X right here, you immediately need to think the X and six. That's a quick way to remember hexagon has six sides. A hexagon has six sides. Now, bees love hexagons because those are the shapes of the little holes in their honeycomb, okay? Hexagons. One, two, three, four, five, six. A seven-sided polygon is called a heptagon. Heptagon. Hepta means seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, um, the only thing that I could re relate that to was in the Olympics, they have a heptathlon in the Olympics that has seven events, it's track and field events with um, races, high jumps, hurdles, things of that sort. A six-sided polygon is called an octagon. Octagon. The prefix octa means eight. Now, something else you know has eight legs and lives in the ocean. An octopus. So again, the prefix octa means eight. A nine-sided shape is called a nonagon. Nonagon. The prefix nana means nine. Nana means nine. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine-sided shape is called a nonagon. When you look at the word nonagon, notice it has two ends in it, just like the word nine has two ends in it. So your two ends should remind you of the number nine. Okay? 
A 10-sided polygon is called a decagon. Decagon. The prefix deca means 10. A 10-sided shape. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10-sided shape is called a decagon. Now, oops. Ten sided shape is called a decagon. Now, you can remember um, deca means ten because a decade, a decade is ten years long. Okay? A decade is ten years long. All right. Let's name these shapes real quick. Count your sides. We have one, two, three, three, four sides in all of these. So a four sided figure is called a quadrilateral. How about this shape right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. It must be an octagon. And what shape do the bees use in their beehive? Count your sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has an X in it. Six has an X. Hex have a, has an X. Hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five. A five-sided shape is called a pentagon. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten sided shape is called a decagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven sided shape is called a heptagon. What are those called? If you said triangles, you're right. And this last shape right here. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A nine sided shape is called a nonagon. Please remember our polygons must follow three characteristics. They must be 2D flat shapes, they must be closed without any openings, and they must have at least three straight line segment sides.